Hello everyone, it's Jason Crossman here of JC's Organic Farming and uh, you know it's been a little while since I made a video but I'm out here in the pasture today and I'm seeing something that's just unreal and I wanted to share it with you. Um, you know I've talked about it before in some of my other videos about how when you can find the cows to these paddocks they're, uh, they're not quite so selective about what they eat. So they're, they're limited you know to what they have in their paddocks so therefore, they're more willing to try a wider variety of forage. This particular pasture is just loaded with blackberries. Briars, you know. But anyway, what I've noticed, see they've been in here four paddocks. They're in their fifth paddocks. So they've been covered about five acres. They're in their fifth acre right now of a 20-acre pasture. And there's probably a good six acre stretch right down the middle of it that's just nothing but these blackberries and uh i'm amazed at what the cattle's done let me show you here first of all we got the cattle right there now what you're looking at here is the remains of blackberries this area right here that you're looking at was just as thick as that yesterday but what the cattle have done, they have came in here and ate all of the leaves off. Left the berries. But, so I don't know if the sugar content has went up in the leaves. You would think it would be leaving the leaves and heading for the berry. But there's something very appealing I mean, look at that stalk. They have tore everything off except for a few at the top. Now what that's going to do for the blackberries is probably kill them off. And the plant is greatly going to be set back, which is excellent. I'm just amazed at what they've done there. And what that is, is, you know, their paddocks, they run up and down the hill here facing the way we are. There's one side and there's the other side. So they come up through here and then they hit this barrier that runs down the middle, just like over here where they were just moved. So they've got to bust their way through them briars and then to get back down through, they got to break through again. So I'm assuming on the way through, they tried it and they really liked it. Just stopped raining, so well, let's look up through there though. It's just loaded with them. Now we'll see what they do today. There they didn't do a whole lot with them. I had to break through it there to set the the poly wire up. Now I don't mind break it through and breaking through the uh, briars this time of year, but later in the summer. Those will be loaded with hornet's nests, and I want nothing to do with breaking through there. So I try and make them a little extra wide. That way when we come back later in the summer, I'll have a pathway through them. And it'll be like that, like there's one there, there's a breakthrough there, so forth and so on, all the way down through there. So my paddocks will have to be pretty much in the same place, obviously. But being organic and uh, not having uh, a mower... Those are going to thrive. But anyway, I just thought it was really interesting how they uh, chewed down them briars, and I wanted to share. Uh, thanks for watching JC's Organic Farming. And uh, if you've uh, experienced your cattle or livestock doing something similar and just amazing you, please share below. I'd like to, to hear the story. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again.